I'm not really sure why, but people really struggle with making cake batters from whole grain flours. The first thing to know is that you have to use whole wheat pastry flour, not whole wheat flour, whole wheat pastry. It's a softer wheat and a finer grind. If you make your desserts from whole wheat flour, no one will ever ask you to make dessert twice. Add a pinch of salt. Then we're gonna add to it a second flour. You have options. You can use a double zero, which is a very soft flour that's used to make pasta and pastries, or you can use semolina. I use semolina, which is a yellow flour when I want the cake to be yellow, and I use double zero when I want the cake to be lighter in color. Now we'll add to it a teaspoon of baking powder for every cup of flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda for every cup of flour. Mix it together. I don't whisk, I don't sift. You want to whisk and sift, have a ball, but you don't really need to do that. Okay? Next we add, I use avocado oil because it tastes very buttery and gives a nice moist crumb. So that's going to be about a third cup. Also mix in a teaspoon of vanilla. And finally, I add my sweetener, which is brown rice syrup. Again, it's a fermented glucose-based sweetener. You're gonna use about a half cup. In order to make a nice batter, I usually mix my sweetener and my oil in because they're both liquid. And then, once I have that incorporated, then I figure out how much almond or soy milk I need to turn it into a nice spoonable batter. So that's kind of the trick. You mix in your sweetener and oil first. And then you slowly add, in this case, almond milk, but you can use soy or rice or oat or hazelnut, whatever floats your boat. And now you mix until you create the texture of what's called a spoonable or velvety batter. And you can see it just has the texture of a normal cake batter, only this is way better for your health and smells so delicious. And because it has no eggs, you can taste it. Oh, yum. Okay, there you go. Cake batter. Does it get easier?